Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I am Fiber Fox Studios. Welcome to Mosaic Monday. Today we are going to be working on pattern number 60, Flower Power Chart 2. So this is for the half flower design that's included in that chart set so that you can create projects that have a staggered flower effect rather than stacked. So this video or this tutorial can be used in conjunction with the tutorial for the full flower and I give you the information in the video um, on how to use both of those together. You need to select two colors of yarn, your favorite crochet hook, and jump down in that description for project ideas, row start times, additional information. A link to the Etsy shop is also provided. But remember, you never ever have to buy anything because I will provide the entire pattern, every single row, every single stitch in this tutorial today. So grab your yarn and your crochet hook and let's jump in and get started. This tutorial is for chart two from the chart set for Flower Power. So you would refer to chart two, the half flower for this particular tutorial, if you're gonna use this as a support tutorial. If you are new and starting out with a brand new project, you're going to be chaining in the multiple of 12 over and over until you find your desired size. Then if you are working flat, you will add four more chains to your chain count. If you are going to work this pattern in the round, you are just simply going to chain in the multiple of 12 over and over and then slip stitch to the first chain that you made to form a ring and begin working the repeats given in this video starting in that same stitch that you slip stitch into. You're going to be maintaining your chain count and it will be divisible by 12 throughout your project. For the rest of us working flat, you're going to get your starting chain ready, add four chains to the end, and meet up with me to begin row one, which I'm beginning right now. You're going to begin by skipping this first chain from your hook and moving into the second chain to do a complete or a traditional double crochet. So you do that by going into the complete stitch under the V. And then from there, we single crochet like normal. So we grab and pull up a loop, grab and pull through two. So that is our traditional single crochet that we'll be doing at the start of every row. From here, we're going to begin the repeat for row one, which is very simple. We're going to be working a back loop only single crochet in each of our stitches. So that means we pick up only that back side of the stitch, the one side. And then from there, you single crochet just like normal. So you need, you need to work one back loop only single crochet into each stitch except for your very last stitch of the row. We will meet up again at the row end to finish out. We are now here at the end of the row and you will have one stitch left. We are going to do our traditional single crochet into this last stitch of the row as well. So you want to make sure completely in the stitch under the V and then single crochet just like normal. It is really important that you do the traditional single crochet and go in to the complete stitch at the start and end of your row. It helps keep your sides very straight and even. So now we need to bind off. We just chain up two, clip our yarn, and then we're gonna cinch that down to form a little knot. This is a knotted bind off. This is what I recommend that you do. So I'm gonna grab the tail, place my thumb and index right above those two chains, pull on the tail, and push down on those chains to form this little knot here at the end of the row. Now we're going to begin row number two. We return to the start of our work. We do not turn it. We don't turn our work, flip it, or anything like that. We just go back here to the very first stitch that we made. You're going to notice the side bump right here. That's our turning chain from row one. Make sure that you scoot that down out of your way and you do not accidentally work into it. You do not want to mess up your chain count. So now that we're in that complete stitch under the V, we grab color B. And we're going to add that onto our hook. We pull up a loop. And then we grab tail and working yarn, chaining one. And then we go back into that same exact first stitch. And we finish out our traditional single crochet to join on. 
So I'm gonna drop the tail at this point and just grab my working yarn, pulling up a loop. Now I'm gonna grab the working yarn again and pull through all those little loops there on my hook. And that's how we join on at the beginning of every row. We're now going to begin our repeat for row number two. It's very simple, it's exactly like row one. We're going to be working a back loop only single crochet in all of our stitches except for the very last stitch of the row. So from this point forward, I will be referring to these just as single crochets. And you will know that when you are working your repeat stitches, you are always working single crochets in the back loop only. So we're gonna continue down our row, single crochet in every stitch, traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row, and then meet up for row number three. Row three begins now and we are working in color A. Row three's repeat begins by working one double crochet. So here's how we'll do all of our double crochets throughout this pattern. You're gonna wrap your yarn just like normal around your hook, identify the very next stitch and then drop down two rows below, picking up this front loop that we left by doing the back loop only single crochets. We're now gonna grab our yarn and pull up a loop and then from here, it's a double crochet just like normal. So grab your yarn, pull through two, grab your yarn and pull through two. So that completes our double crochet. And you will notice that if you are uncertain where your next stitch is, you can always fold this double crochet back. And each double crochet will take up one stitch back here on this row, the previous row. It's covering it up when we put it back into place. So we begin with that one double crochet and we move on from here with three single crochets. So here is number one. Two. And three. Five double crochets. One, two, three. four, and number five. Now we will work three single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, three. So let's recap what we have done. Row number three's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, five double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So you're going to continue to work that exact set on down your row, and then you'll meet up with me to do the row end. For those of you who are new, I'm going to work the repeat together with you one more time, and then we'll work the row in together as well. So we are now going to begin the repeat for row number three again. So I have ended the repeat with the three single crochets, begins with one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, 
three, five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then we will end the repeat with three single crochets. One, two, and three. So that ends our repeat for a second time. So after you've completed your row, got a couple repeats going, this is what the work is going to begin to look like. Now that we're here at the row end, I'll show you how you're going to work all of your row ends throughout this entire project you are going to find at your row end that you have two stitches left every row. When you get here, you are going to restart your repeat for one stitch, working it here in the second to last stitch of the row, and then you will do your traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row like normal. So for row three, our repeat begins with a double crochet, so that is what we are going to work here in this stitch. In doing so, we now have an even row end and row beginning. They'll match perfectly. So now we end the very last stitch, traditional single crochet, making sure you get completely in that stitch. And then we can bind off from here. So now we'll meet up and work row four. Row four begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number four begins with one single crochet, three double crochets, there's one, two, three, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll end the repeat with three double crochets over these next three stitches. One, two, Three. So let's recap what we've done. Row number four's repeat began with one single crochet, three double crochets, five single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So you're going to continue to work that exact set on down your row. Remember at the row end, you'll have those two stitches left. You're going to restart the repeat for one stitch and then traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So we will be back when you are ready for row number five. Row number five begins now and we are working in color A. Row five's repeat begins with one double crochet,
five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet. And five single crochets will end the repeat. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's recap it. Row number five's repeat began with one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets. So the cheater method for this row is one double crochet, five single crochets over and over, all the way down. So you're gonna either complete the full set of the repeat full set of stitches or the cheater method, but either way, we'll meet up when you're ready for row number six. Row number six begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number six begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three. One single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, one single crochet. And we end with one double crochet. So now let's recap what we've done. Row number six repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet to end the repeat. So you're gonna to continue to work that exact set on down your row and meet up with me for row seven. Row seven begins now and we are working in color A. Our repeat for row number seven begins with six single crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, six. One double crochet. Five single crochets will end our repeat. One, two, three, four, five, and done. So let's recap it. Row number seven's repeat began with six single crochets, 
one double crochet, five single crochets. So you're going to continue to work that exact set and we'll meet up for row number eight. Row number eight begins now and we are working in color B. Row eight's repeat begins with two double crochets. One, two, nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we end the repeat with one double crochet. All right, let's recap what we've done. Row eight's repeat began with two double crochets, nine single crochets. We end with one double crochet. So you're gonna keep working that set of stitches on down your row and meet up with me for row number nine. Row number nine begins now and we are working in color A. Our repeat for row number nine begins with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, one double crochet, and we'll end with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five and let's recap it so row number nine's repeat began with six single crochets one double crochet and we end with five single crochets so you're going to keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row we'll meet up for row 10. Row number 10 begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number 10 begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. three double crochets, one, two, three, one single crochet, three double crochets, One, two, three, one single crochet, one double crochet ends that repeat. So let's recap what we've done. 
Row number 10's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets, one single crochet, and one double crochet ends that repeat. You're going to continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row number 11. Row number 11 begins now and we are working in color A. Row number 11's repeat begins with one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, five single crochets ends that repeat. One, two, three, four, five. So let's recap it. Our repeat for row number 11 began with one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets. So cheater method, you can work one double, five singles all the way down your row and you will be good to go. Row 12 begins now and we are working in color B. Row number 12's repeat begins with one single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, three double crochets will end that repeat. One, two, three. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 12's repeat began with one single crochet, three double crochets, five single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So you're going to keep working that exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row 13. Row 13 begins now. It's our final row and we are working in color A. Row 13's repeat begins with one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, five double crochets, One, two, three, four, five, 
Now we will end the repeat by working three single crochets over these next three stitches. One, two, three. So let's recap what we've done. Row 13's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, five double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So you're gonna to continue to work that exact set of stitches, and we will meet up one final time to talk about how you can grow your project. After you complete row 13, this is what your work will look like. From here, you can rewind back in the same video to row two, and work rows two through 13 as many times as you would like, or you can switch over to the chart one tutorial, which will be linked down below in the description. You can switch to that one and you can join on at row two and work rows two through 13 of that pattern. Then come back to the half design or the half flower, I should say, come back over here and work two through 13, alternating between those two different tutorials so that you can have a staggered effect. Or, of course, you can just work this as a stacked design and have all of your flowers line up one on top of another. Either way, it's completely up to you and how you want to use this. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please leave me a comment down below. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.